August 21st. Man, it's a hot one today, like seven inches from the midday sun. And so we're coming up on my favorite time of the year, fall, and specifically Halloween. Just have some exciting projects that I'm starting up for the Halloween season. I have about roughly two months to get this done and uh, excited to kind of show you guys and share kind of my preliminary thoughts. And Last year I did the first um, iteration of my Axeworthy Ghost, which is a ghost that flies around the yard on a, on a uh, motor that runs a fishing line around the yard. So I'm gonna make that better this year. I'm gonna make it go longer track, try to go bigger ghost this year, maybe two ghosts on the line. But I also have two other projects that I'm gonna be working on and um, making videos for, and I'll publish those hopefully in the next month or so, get them out there before Halloween. But um, the first one is gonna be a um, skeleton on a swing, and it's gonna have a motor that drives the, the, the swing so that it goes back and forth and back and forth. Um, so you just need to figure out, you need a swing, you need a skeleton, and then you need to figure out how to get the swing to swing back and forth. So I'm gonna put that on my front porch. The, the uh, skeleton that's uh, on a swing. So here is my uh, opening for my uh, front porch here. Be a real uh, engineering marvel here. This might actually be the toughest thing to pull off out of the three. So what I'm gonna do is just get a piece of wood. I hope I already have it. Get some string up here. I'm gonna have a skeleton. It's a classic like how I used to draw them back in uh, fourth grade. We've come very far since then. They'll actually be holding on to the swing. So it just. So then the question is, do I need to power the swinging mechanism from up here? I have to have a motor there, and it'll kind of pull the thing back and forth. Boop, 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 boop. Or do I want to have it powered maybe from back here? Like do I have something I can like push it, push it um, from the back, kind of like you push something on a swing? Or is there something at the bottom that I could use to kind of pull it back and forth? Like a, something, I think this is probably the best way up here, but I'm gonna have to go look at some motors and see, see what the option is. So that's the skeleton on swing concept. A. Last one I'm really excited about, and I haven't seen any of this anywhere. So I'm, I'm sure somebody has done it. It's not, can't be that creative an idea, but I also want to do, um, zombies that are powered by a robot vacuum actually two of them so i have two robot vacuums i'm going to rig them up to put a zombie on top and then just have them kind of move around in an enclosed space kind of bouncing off of each other and so that's going to be the other one that i'm going to be working on so yeah i'm real excited about it and uh, trying to give my front yard even more of an animatronic uh slant i'm sure my neighbors think uh, i'm a real weirdo um and uh that's okay so um, so stay tuned and um, watch the channel and I'll be hopefully uh, releasing videos for all three of those projects, the Axeworthy Ghost 2.0, the, um, the, the zombies uh, going around on, uh, on <laughs> robot vacuums, and then, um, and then of course Skeleton on a Swing from, from the front porch. So again, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to figure these three things out and see you guys soon. Thanks. Get a bunch of zombies bouncing off each other here. They're like the walking dead here in Chicago suburbs.